guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have got another haul for you guys. As you guys know, I recently uploaded a Ulta haul, and a lot of you guys really enjoyed that, and I have been getting a lot of products in and ordering a lot of new stuff because so much new stuff has been coming out, like, it's just too much. So I decided to get on here and share with you guys another haul. I recently went ham on the Wet n Wild website and I wanted to share with you guys the products that I got. So that is what I'm going to be doing in today's video. But before we get started, if you are new to my channel, hey, my name is Faye. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for today's haul. I really hope that you enjoy seeing the products that I got from the Wet n Wild website. If you do, be sure to give it a big thumbs up for more hauls and also be sure to click down below to subscribe to my channel and click the bell next to the subscribe button so that you will be notified anytime that I upload any future hauls or future videos in general so let's go ahead and get into the haul all right guys so if you are not familiar with wet n wild which I'm sure most of you guys are it is an affordable brand that you can find at Walmart at Target at Walgreens pretty much any drugstore or any place that sells affordable makeup and they have I mean they've really been stepping it up like they've been stepping it up for a while but some of the products that they came out with with this recent spring launch I have literally just been blown away and I decided to just go ham on their website and just pick up a lot of the things that I had been holding off on but I just had to go ahead and do it so let's go ahead and get into the products that I got so the very first thing that I have is the wet n wild photo focus foundation this is in the shade Coco and it matches me perfectly so if you are similar to my skin tone and you are wondering what shade in this foundation you are I am in the shade Coco and it is a perfect match for me this was actually the product that caused this whole haul because I was at Walgreens and I happened to see that they recently put out more shades of the foundation because when they first put out the display they had a lot of the lighter shades they didn't have too many like deeper or darker shades which when you go on the website you'll see that there are actually quite a few darker shades available but they didn't have them on the display so this particular time that I went in they did have more shades on the display and I saw this one and I thought it would be a pretty good match which like I said it was and girl when I tried this foundation like the very next day when I was getting ready for work I decided to use this foundation on my face and when I put it on my face I was like this foundation is everything like I literally text my friend Andrea after I put this on my face I was like girl you need you need okay so next up I got two concealers I got the shade medium tawny and then also the shade medium deep tan so again when I was in the store picking up the foundation I was able to find medium tawny and in the packaging I wasn't sure um, if this was going to be too light for me so I wanted to pick up the shade medium deep tan as well but I have already used this which it is bomb by the way another product I definitely recommend um, but the shade medium tawny is perfect for highlighting and I think this one is going to be great for like spot concealing because it's pretty much the same shade as my skin tone which I didn't realize but it's not a problem because I can definitely still get some use out of it so that is the next thing that I got and again I highly recommend these these are the photo focus concealers they are new to their line and they are bomb so the next product that I got is a product that I have been wanting for a while and have been holding off on but finally decided to just throw it in the bag and this is the wet n wild photo focus setting spray I have heard tons of really great things about this setting spray it's such an affordable product so I decided to finally pick it up and try it out for myself and then the next product that I got is the wet n wild makeup remover so this says that it is for eyes lips and face and it is a micellar cleansing water this is another new product from them and I was very intrigued by this because you guys know that the micellar cleansing waters are kind of like on trend right now which I have actually really been loving them I love the Garnier one I have the new L'Oreal one I've been enjoying that one as well but this one of course is much more affordable so I decided to pick it up now one thing I do notice about this that I that is not in the other cleansing waters is that this one looks like it has oil in it I don't know if you guys can see that it looks like it has oil in it 
whereas the Garnier and the L'Oreal ones do not have that separation. So that's one thing that I did notice right off the bat with this one, um, which I don't think will be a problem, but it may not be like a true cleansing water because it does look like it has some oil in it. But I'll have to try it out and I'll let you guys know my thoughts about it. But yeah, that was the next thing that I got. So next up is another product that I have been wanting to get my hands on for forever and have just been holding off on it. And I decided again to throw it in the bag. And this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighters. Now, when these came out last year sometime, everybody was going crazy for these highlighters and I was not able to find them anywhere in store. And I ended up just deciding that I would hold off and get them whenever. Um, but I did see them on the website, so I decided to go ahead and pick them up. So I picked up the shades Crown of My Canopy and Precious Pearls. And there is one other shade, but it's a much lighter highlight that I didn't think would complement my skin tone. But here are a couple of swatches for you guys. So up here we have Crown of My Canopy, and then down here we have Precious Pearls. So as you guys can see, these highlighters are absolutely stunning. They're super pigmented and the packaging on these is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous packaging. Um, so for a drugstore highlighter, I'm definitely excited to put these on my face. So the next product that I got is another really popular item from the new Spring Wet n Wild collection. And it is these Megalass Liquid Catsuit Matte Liquid Lipsticks. So I picked up six shades here. And I am planning on doing a review and lip swatch video on these for you guys. So let me know down below if that's something that you're interested in seeing. I believe that there are maybe 10 total of these. Um, but like I said, I just picked up six because I'm trying to not be excessive. <laughs> so I went ahead and just got the ones that I thought I would actually wear. So I picked up the shade Rebel Rose and Give Me Mocha, which I think is going to be Bay, honestly. Let's just be real. Um, Missy and Fierce, which is a red. Gothic Topic, or Goth Topic, which is like a deep cranberry shade. Berry Recognize, which is a beautiful berry shade, and then also Video Vixen, which is a nice deep red color, is what it looks like, or maybe plumish cranberry red color. So yes, those are the six that I got. Very excited to have been able to get my hands on these, and I'm also looking forward to doing a lip swatch video for you guys, so let me know down below if that's something that you're interested in seeing so that I can know like how soon I need to post it. Let me know in the comments if you want to see a lip swatch video on these. So the last product that I purchased is actually a face powder. And this one is the Photo Focused Press Powder in the shade Dark Cafe. Now, I am not sure, now that I actually got this here in front of me, I'm not sure how well this is going to work on my skin tone because it does look a little bit dark. i um, not going to lie, but let's see. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It kind of reminds me of the MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes, like the kind of way that it looks, almost like a baked powder. But let's just see. Okay, yeah, so... This color is definitely not gonna work for me, as you guys can see. It's a really deep, kind of reddish brown shade. Um, I could probably use it as like a bronzer or like a shade to blend out my contour, but I'm definitely not gonna be able to use it as a face powder, which is kind of what I was wanting to use it for. So I may have to go back on their site and see if they have a lighter shade or a shade that would complement my skin tone a little bit better, because this one is not gonna do it. So last but not least, when I placed my order, I actually was able to get a mystery gift that is valued at $15. And when I opened it up, it looks like they just sent me a ton of nail polishes, which, I'm not mad at because I always hear people talk also really highly about Wet n Wild's nail polishes and I've always wanted to try them out but again I just never have gotten around to picking any up so they actually sent me eight of their nail polishes so 
I have a Mega Mega Last Candy Gloss Nail Tint. And this one is in the shade One Grape or Another. So it's a nice purple shade. Then I have a more pastel purple shade. And this one is Wild Wild Violet. And this one is also one of their just regular Mega Last Nail Polishes. Um, also, I have a lime green shade that is Leaf Me Be, which is cute, like Leaf Me Be. <laughs> That's a cute name. Um, and then I also have an orangey coral shade, which I think will be bomb for summer and for spring. Um, this one's in the shade Poppy Culture. And then I have Cherry Blossom on top, which is just a really beautiful kind of fuchsia pink shade. And then lastly, I have a few more of their candy tints or candy gloss nail tints. This one is another like orangey coral shade in the shade Floral Support. Then I have the shade A Case of Blue, which is just a really beautiful navy blue shade. And then I have Eddie in Pink, which is a really beautiful fuchsia pink shade. So I'm not really too familiar with these candy gloss nail tints. So if any one of you guys have used these, let me know down below exactly how these are supposed to be used. Um, I'll probably look it up online too just to kind of get an idea like if this is supposed to be an opaque nail polish or if it's supposed to be like a top coat situation or what exactly because um, I can tell that the actual formula is a little bit thinner than like an actual nail polish so let me know down below if you guys know what these are supposed to be used for but that's it that's everything that I got in the box everything that I ordered from Wet n Wild and I've also been thinking about maybe doing like a full face uh, makeup tutorial using all Wet n Wild products because I do have a good bit of products from Wet n Wild that I feel like I could incorporate. I may have to get like an eyeshadow palette for like transitions and stuff but I do have a couple of other eyeshadows from Wet n Wild and I feel like I pretty much have enough to do a full makeup look so let me know down below if that's something you would be interested in and it can be like a full face first impressions type of video of all wet n wild products i le legit just thought of that so <laughs> let me know down below if that's something you're interested in seeing or just give this video a thumbs up to let me know if you're interested in that and also to let me know if you like hauls because i do kind of judge videos that i post based on the thumbs up so if you're enjoying the hauls, definitely be sure to give them a thumbs up. Or if you enjoy any of my videos, be sure to give it a thumbs up so that I will know. And yeah, that's pretty much all that I've got for you guys. I'll do my best to link everything for you guys down below if you're interested in purchasing any of it. And that's it. Be sure to follow me on my other social media platforms. I will have them linked down below. You can find me at Faylene Beauty on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And Faylene Snaps on Snapchat. So besides that, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys very soon in my next one. Bye.